I am Ujjal Kanti Pramani, and uh, my registration number is two zero BC one seven one four. Today I am going to explain about two fish algorithm. This algorithm is proposed by Bruce Sneer. Uh, first, uh, I will tell some history about this algorithm. This is basically published in nineteen eighty eight. And it is like uh, actually derived from another algorithm uh, called Blowfish. Uh, for this algorithm, block size will take as 128 bits and structure we are using Fistil network. And total how many rounds we are uh, doing in this algorithm, total 16 rounds we are doing. And for another interesting fact is this one that uh, this algorithm in when it is a uh, as proposed 1988 that time it's become the finalist of the, uh, the competition to uh, like it's complementing this algorithm and uh, at the end it is the se uh, ranked second at that time so uh, why we should go for two fees instead of blow fees the problem with Blowfish is it's uh, like Blowfish is 64 bit algorithm, but here we can use 128 bit, 192 or 256. And as we know, if we go for more bits, there will be more security so that another like hackers can hackers can't uh, uh, hack or uh, decrypt that one uh, using any brute force attack. And uh, like, what are the key features of this encryption are? Uh, this is symmetric key block cipher. So it means it's using only one uh, key from uh, for encryption and decryption as uh, both. And it use the key scheduling so that uh, for every round of keys, uh, uh, like for every round, it generate key uh, different key pairs. So it will make these things more secure. Uh, some advantage of this algorithm is uh, like uh, it is extensively uh, cryptanalyzed. That means uh, like many times, like uh, up to 16 rounds, we are doing uh, uh, encrypting that one. So it is very much secure. It is unpatented and uncopyrighted as well as free also. As in simple words, as it is not owned by anyone. So anyone can use this one without paying to any organization. So this is the one advantage of this algorithm. Uh, if we tell about the architecture, so Fistel network we are using, S boxes are there. S boxes, what it will do? Eight to eight, like it will take eight input and uh, it will give uh, eight output. Uh, maximum distance separable also it's using. Uh, pseudo uh, Hadamard transfer we are using. Uh, these things we will see later uh, when I will explain the architecture fully. Uh, whitening, that means whenever we are <clears throat> taking input plain text or uh, at the end cipher text, uh, we are giving output. That time we are whitening by exhorting that input or output uh, with uh, some sub key of 128 bits. And every time we are scheduling the key, like which key will be used in which round, that one we are uh, doing. So uh, if we go for the, <clears throat> what is the flow? Uh, like uh, this will be the plain text. Here, first, what will happen? This key will go to key scheduling. From key scheduling, some key will generate. And using that key, this input from uh, using that key, we will whitening that input plain text. Then we will send that one to this full function. Full function, it will go through S boxes, then MDS, then PhD, then addition mod to the power 32. Whatever output we will get, again we will send again back to S box. Again, same thing happen up to 16 rounds. After that, what we will get? that one will be sent to output whitening. There you will again exhort that cipher text. At the end, what you will get, that is the output. This is the architecture. 
so uh, what is the encryption steps so what i first told like uh, key expansion will be there then whatever key we are getting that key will be whitening with uh, that plain text then we'll go for shell network mds xone input uh, at the end uh, even uh, repeat that rounds up to 16 times then we'll go for again finalizing uh, that output uh, whitening whichever i mentioned here then we'll get the final cipher text so what is the encryption process if you see first plain text will be there plain text suppose 128 bit block is there that will be divided into four parts and again that four parts divided into eight parts like each be each block is eight bits so, so eight into four 32 32 into four 120 total these things will be and these are the using key serially we got these four keys first we'll exhort these two again we will get these things uh, after doing exhorting this actually what we are doing input fighting this one we did after that we get results suppose take result as r0 r1 r2 r3 suppose this one r0 r1 r2 r3 next what will happen uh, actually what is the step next then we will send to this function fully <clears throat> so what we are doing here in this function what we are doing total we got r0 r1 r2 r3 we are sending r0 r1 to this function this function will get give you output f0 and f1 here r2 r3 are there f0 will be xor with r2 then it will be rotated right shift by one bit that will give you c2 similarly f1 will be first r3 will be rotated left by one bit then it will be xor with f1 and it will give c2 now merge this four r0 r1 c2 c3 now what will happen now we should go for round two this one one round done now we should go for round two but before going to round two what we will do we will swap these four things like uh, c2 will become here c3 will be here uh, then r0 uh, r1 again round two will be there like that up to 16 times it will happen so uh, now what actually this function doing that one we will see here what this function is doing <clears throat> suppose r0 is sending to this function this function will give output t0 now t0 will be go to this phd <clears throat> that uh, <clears throat> phd what is the formula there uh, this phd will take two inputs like here it's taking t0 and here t1 we are getting t1 <coughs> will be sent to this one so here you will be uh, giving two inputs suppose this one a this one b so what will be the output output will be a dash a dash equal to a plus b mod 2 to the power 32 then you will go for <coughs> key uh, pay, key scheduling and then you will give result f0 and f1 uh, for r1 what you are doing before sending this one to this function what you are doing you are shifting <clears throat> one bit left uh, again what this function again this function g so what this function is doing in this function this s box is there s box uh, is taking input eight bits and sending that to or uh, again giving output of uh, eight bits then it will send to MDS. MDS will give result up uh, of 32 bit. So uh, if you see here, uh, these things full we did S box, MDS, all these things. Did. After that, we will do again the output whitening. Then we'll give or uh, generate the actual ciphertext. What will be the uh, decryption step? 
we'll reverse all those things like whatever we did here we'll reverse all those things uh, like uh, this one huh. decryption process so first what we'll do uh, we'll expand the key then initial point in like at the end uh, before uh, getting that cipher text we give output whitening so now we are giving initial whitening once then mds then fishtail network then again inverse whitening key missing so have halves again repeat round will be there again at the end we will do again whitening then we will get the actual text so this is the total algorithm now what is the strength of this two fish encryption so one is this one that as this one is 128 bits so it is uh, difficult to like using brute force it is difficult to <clears throat> uh, decrypt uh, this uh, algorithm uh, decrypt the plain text and <clears throat> it is faster and efficient second thing uh, now i told uh, another uh, more good uh, advantage of this encryption is this one whatever uh, like i taken some uh, algorithm popular algorithm days is there a is a is there blow is there two fish is there uh, so all are using like if plain text is there after encryption we can see their size all at 240 kb their size here only we can see only two fish and blow fish has more size so uh, like what is the use of more size like how if size is more then it is actually difficult to decrypt so uh, like two fish is uh, has highest uh, size with the uh, competitor with this blow fish but uh, uh, previously only i told all the drawbacks of blow fish so in that case two fish is more uh, we call it secure or efficient. This is one of the strength of two fish encryption. Uh, if you see here also, like performance also, we can see here two fish has less clocks per byte. So it is uh, like the efficient one among all others. Uh, like blow fish 18 uh, days, so like uh, days 43, it's going. so this is one advantage also now if we go for what are the weakness so weakness is one is there before uh, doing encryption all those things uh, what we are doing we are creating this uh, s box using uh, those uh, that key we that whatever key we are using using that one we are uh, making s boxes so there is a possibility of side channel attack that is there uh, and another weakness is this one like uh, another weakness is this one that uh, as here i mentioned this one uh, its size is more after the encryption its size is uh, going more uh, so if we are uh, encrypting uh, one very much high, high size or very much big size of plain text then it will be very much difficult for like it will make that process uh, encryption slow that is one drawback uh, some applications uh, like uh, we are using this encryption in dnu privacy guard even we are using this one in <clears throat> email all those things uh, and uh, password also and true crypt uh, this is on program here also uh, uh, like we are protecting files so this also we are using uh, so at the end like uh, two fees is uh, <clears throat> very much good algorithm uh, uh, and it can complement this also but only the uh, problem with this two fish is a little bit slower as compared to uh, some other algorithms uh, and like little bit drawback is like its complexity that's all otherwise all 
is fine with this uh, algorithm and as it is free anyone can use this one also so thank you